All right, all right. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Sunderland Football Manager 2021 Road to Glory series. And we are here again. We're at the end of the season again. Uh, this time, our Premier League season, season three. Just take a bit of a a bit of a look, guys. If we go on to our history, we go to the job history. That's been, well, we still need to finalize. We still need to finalize there, but it's been a pretty sweet ride so far. And as you can see, we had a couple of results. We played there, Aston Villa, Bournemouth. Unfortunately, couldn't beat Aston Villa away from home. Bournemouth only 2-1. So we're not playing our best football late in the season. There's a slight chance, very slight, that we can steal Man City's spot. I mean, we've got two games against Liverpool. So yeah, and Liverpool's fighting for the title. So it's going to be pretty hard, to be honest. But I'm definitely pleased how we're going this season. I think the money situation has to be the focus on something that's done exceptionally well. If you take, yeah, look at look at just the not the projection, but yeah, just how it's gone. Maybe that's something we'll check out as well. Projection, uh, okay, end of 24, 25 season, 76 mil. Uh, it really help, depends how next season goes. There's a lot of things still to find out, but I'm really happy what we've been uh, spending. Like, I don't think we went overs on like players' contracts and all of that. If they see our wage budget. Uh, yeah, we've done we've done pretty well. Uh, we've done pretty well in terms of that. So, what we are going to do now? We're not going to waste any further time. We're just going to get right to the nitty gritty. As I said, the Sunland, uh, the fixtures uh, that we did have. You know, Man City Wolves, terrible. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, I couldn't say them more simply. But the positive of that, Johnny Brennan sport like both goals. He scored both goals, and his development is absolutely amazing right now. Almost a million value, and he's not even 18. If he gets over before 18, that will be massive. Um, and yeah, that really says a lot. So two games versus Liverpool in a row. Wow. Uh, to try and... Uh, I see... This is, this is perfect. Because if we can, if we can get results against Liverpool, I'd say... I mean, Man City's playing against Norwich. We'd have to beat them both times. That sounds almost impossible well you never know you never know let's just go right into it let's see but we probably would have to beat them both times to give us a chance and it's not just beating liverpool it's you know where we are we need to probably win all, all games we need to win all games we need yeah it's not specifically just the liverpool game so uh we are going to bring in ilsanka uh oh, that yeah that the, the no-nonsense center back i prefer playing him there that's why i had that selected um, try and give Dalamura some more games. Uh, he's still pretty inexperienced overall, so yeah, just trying to ease him to that Premier League life. And unfortunately, Sergio Gomez picked up a little injury, uh, as you can see here. So he's definitely going to miss his first game. Uh, Gould, I think he and Gould uh, performing at a similar level. Uh, Josh Madger, I haven't used him a lot, so he could be recalled late. Yeah, if you look here, nine days left. So I feel like if we can... Like, yeah, if he goes back after, I mean, what would the manager, would the manager really recall him? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, he should be here for the rest of the season. Um, yeah, after the QPR game. So that's not something we need to worry about. And yeah, let's just get into the match. As I said, I really like this lineup. And I like the options we've got on the bench. Maybe wisdom ahead of Bailey Wright. I think he would just be a bit better at playing right back. So yeah, and you got Rafael on the bench. He could play left-back or centre-back. And, yeah, Jack Stevens. I don't know, man. Ilsanka, I was really happy with... Oh, it's such a hard one. We're going to leave it like that for now. Ilsanka, I just hope he is... Yeah, you know those mental attributes. You know how good he is. So, I'm really hoping... Yeah, that's going to come into fruition. I really hope that could help us get a result. But realistically, this could be Man City-like. If you take a look, they're starting Lazaro, who is he's a young Brazilian striker, and they've got Mane, Jao Felix, Mohamed Salah, James Milner might be getting a bit older now. Uh, Yuri Tielemans, like I don't need to keep saying their names. You you know how good these players are. Uh, that Lazaro is actually not bad either. So I'm just gonna say we could secure qualification for the Europa. We haven't secured it yet, so. I'm expe oh, expecting you. I don't want... We're playing Liverpool back-to-back. -back. Even that's weird. I want you to leave your mark here. See, that's a rare team talk. I just want to do it here for you guys to see it. <laughs> More than anything, you don't see that a lot, do you? All right. And then we'll go point finger, faith in you. Okay, let's, let's hit this right. 
almost. Decent. Decent reactions. So, yeah, Liverpool, this striker, Lazaro, he doesn't even have a face, so that says a lot. Not really. Uh, he's a decent potential. It means he's a, a young striker that is looking pretty dangerous. I wouldn't say he's a big goal scorer, so that's clear Liverpool's target. Uh, in recent years, to bring in a Brazilian striker who's not the main man. Our main, our good players are on the wings. <laughs> uh, you got Mane, Salah, Felix in behind. Oh my gosh, though. Oh, all right. What a game this is. What a game this is. Uh, but Liverpool, yeah, they're not in real life. They're not doing too well. That's <laughs> that's kind of what's going on. But anyway. We got to be focused in our world, and here we are. It's Salah. We will probably okay. I can't make any predictions. What's going to happen on this counter? But imagine if we steal it. Oh, Greenwood, Felix, suddenly a good defender. Oh my god, I'm on it already. I'm on the <laughs> the funny things already. Gosh, good tackle. Okay, Ilsanka goes long. See, that's a nice ball. He'll be composed under those situations. It, it's what we need. It's what we need against Liverpool. We're playing them twice. Would beating them once be good enough? I'm not sure. Adam out wide to Mankio. We look good early against him, though. Oh, decent chance. Score! No, Adam. Why was he shooting so poorly there? He tucks them home this season. All right. Let's chuck an encourage shout. You got to know my style now. They've got a, a lot of... <laughs> That body language does not ask last. It doesn't last for long. Okay, who's he going to fall to? No one. So, okay. I want to see how we go. Oh, wow. Where's the coverage on that side? Huh? Where's the... We're lucky. No doubt. But, all right. Well, we are... Okay, yeah, we are lucky. You give Mo Salah that much space, he normally scores. There you go. Oh, it's a tight game, man. See, I, I don't know exactly, because we this is how we start. I don't think we can play out of defense and be as dominant as we usually are. I've got to be honest, and you have to be this way in FM. You have to be able to adapt. So we're going to go down the wings. We can't play like we usually do against the teams, you know, mid-table, lower mid-table. Play a bit of high tempo, get some early crosses in. See what that's going to do. Demand more. So, like, you look at this. You look at the stat. This is feeling a bit like Man City. Liverpool being a little less dominant than them, though. They're not having that many shots. But, no, I just said that, and they're going to score before halftime. Please, no. Please, no. We've made it this long. It's always late in the half. Come on. Come on. See, realistically, yeah, we have to be realistic about it. Realistically, they're like Man City and when... This is why we can't be in the Champions League. And I'm see, I'm not even mad about that fact. There's always that wishful hope, that, yeah, crazy... <laughs> like, yeah. We, we'd really struggle. We'd really struggle in the Champions League, considering other teams of Liverpool's and Man City's qualities. So, yeah, it's a bit of a weird feeling now uh, because... Yeah, we'd have to win this game. And maybe it's a little maybe it's a little too much. I mean, that's what FM is calculating anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it, it's probably looking a little too much unless we see a goal here. Unless we see a goal here. Felix. Good tack. Oh, a good tackle that goes straight to Mane. I feel like we've had a really really long season as well, so our players uh, will be a bit tired. Uh, we wouldn't be able to get up for a game like this, maybe like we would have earlier in the season. What do you guys think about that? Uh, because they've just played their hearts out. I can't be mad at any of my players. They played their hearts out this season uh, to get us into Europe, really. They did an amazing job. So it might be a thing again, Johnny Brennan, the the young star. Let's take our Kitalano on a yellow. He's not having a good game anyway. And we'll go about it. I mean, we might as well go to the 4-2-4 and we'll adjust it to play with three strikers. Just, yeah. We'll take a look at that. Yeah, Jeb Brennan through the middle. Yeah, you're like, you. this is such a, like, what we've been doing. 
Hlozek has to go through the middle and you have to finish, mate. Advance forward through the middle. Brennan. Actually, I like the poacher in the middle. That's just just me. And Adam will go on that side. Then Greenwood. Maybe a pressing forward. Okay, I don't mind that mixture. And Hayden. Wait, we'll take Mankio off first so we can bring on our center back. But I prefer that to be Raphael. We'll get it sorted. No, we won't. No, I remember getting angry about this last year and I'm placing it exactly... You guys see that, right? I'm not going to get mad about it. I told... Someone tell them to fix it, man. I was complaining about it last year. But anyway. Anyway. Uh, Ilsanka, probably just play the no-nonsense. Hayden. Asta. Youth. Future. Mazala support, Gould, advanced playmaker attack. Go, absolute go for this, lads. Go for this. And I'm like, yeah, you guys, you guys see this. We're only 1-0 down. Like, this is my go-to. This is what we go to. And you might say it doesn't pay off that much. Like... How often have I really come back going this attacking? Not really often. So, what's going on? <laughs> hey, Firmino's on now. We're only a goal down. But we, yeah, we need to win. Maybe a draw, a point. Might not be a disaster, but... We've still got another game against Liverpool. We need, we need to win at least one of these games. Mm. Depend, uh, depends what City do, really. You don't know. But they got a game against Norwich. They're going to win that. You just can't see that yeah, going any other way. Now Dembele. Yeah, you see the difference, man. Well done. I think, I think the lads have tried hard here to not get destroyed. If we talk about the Man City game. We didn't get, we didn't get destroyed here. I mean, on the scoreline, at least. Shoot on sight, play for set pieces. That's the positive. They put out a fight. And you don't know, maybe we can sneak a late goal. Let's see, but likely Liverpool. They're probably due another goal. They're probably due another goal. Ooh. There we go. Nicolo Marmini. Nicolo Marmini. Yeah, he's had solid... Yeah. That's coming. See, I'm, that's why I'm not raging. You guys, please don't be mad at this result. <laughs> like, it was never going to happen. Their quality is too high versus ours. And you're going to see a performance like this where we can't just generate enough chances. So it's it's not a shocking thing. As I said, especially early in the season, it could be a possibility. But now, late in the season, when our players are super tired, yeah, we're never going to stand the chance. And it's feeling a bit, I don't know, like the game against Man City as well. It's like we can't do anything in these games and it feels a bit, I don't know. It feels like we're always yeah, destined to lose. Which is not a fun thing, I guess. You want to feel like you have a chance. You want to feel like that. So let's see if we get a late goal, anything... But Mane finishes us. And in the end, it's going to be a resounding scoreline because we did go attacking with our normal tactic. Uh, maybe it would have stayed 1-0. I guess we'll never know. But there's there's nothing really to shout about for us in this game. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I've got nothing to praise about us, which is disappointing. That's why we're just talking about uh, what Liverpool are doing. A bit disappointing, but I'm not mad at any of my players because, yeah, we would, this kind of game, we're far below we're far below their current current ability. I remember saying that in the last episode. And that's just how a result plays out. And see where you take a look. Sunderland qualify for Europa League. Guys, with that loss, that confirms us win, like getting Europa League qualification. So, yeah. It, it's No, we're not even worried. Criticize Greenwood's form. Don't worry about the goal drought. Yeah. But anyway, let's... Let's move on from this. We quali Like, that's huge. Like, we did, no we did nothing. It wasn't on us. Like other results, I guess. Let's just go out there, celebrate our success this season, uh, because yeah, we won't we won't finish fourth. 
Champions League, I think, would have been too rough for us uh, next season. I think Europa League is more more our speed, and that's something Loki I did want as well. Oof, imagine in this series to win Europa League and then Champions League. I love when you can do that in the save. You don't just go straight to the promised land. <laughs> you don't just go straight into the Champions League. It's good to yeah have this little step first. So here we go into it now, guys. Let's have a showing at home. Because recently we've had performances against these good sides. Liverpool away from home. Man City away. But I'll, I want to I wanna see how we do at home. How it's just a different complexion. And yeah, we're not... I'm not going to go very defensive at home, let alone if you don't away from home. Why would you then? Uh, Isaac Hayden. Let's bring on... Who... Oh, yes. Ilsanka. I was going to like, who do we usually put there? Ilsanka is the man. We just play Hayden a lot there. And we're going to give Delamira... Might as well, might as well give him a go. Sam Greenwood has been a little out of touch. So why don't we start Johnny Brennan and probably change his role to the poacher, which he prefers a little bit more. And we're going to go in. We're going to go in like this. If we take a look at everyone else, no one's screaming at me for a start. So yeah, Sergio Gomez, he's still come back from that little injury. Jack Stevens, could to be fair, but Armini, keep playing. Uh, like this selection. Let's go into it, guys important, I think we can still, again, again, I don't think it's a warning sign. I don't think it's a warning sign needing to change tactics type feelings um, for like next season. Because <laughs> we've had it excellent. Yeah. All right. No, but, uh, go out there, show the world you got what it takes. Just go out there. Yeah. Show what we can do at home. That's it. Almost if anything, we should be be so confident going into next season with this similar setup because getting into Europe with a newly promoted team that's outstanding like on paper like be to be able to do that that's yeah that's incredible that's a performance where you wouldn't consider like it wouldn't make sense almost to chat like switch things up like yeah you've done <laughs> you've done a good job here ah oh, has to be a spillage has to be a spillage to cause the goal. And now we're behind the eight ball, man. That's not what we wanted. Maybe the focus is just dipping a little bit. Come on, you got to be better. But again, you can't say in anything like different things come into effect late in the season like this. Oh, you can see a bad keeping error. You're like, oh, get rid of him. He's been terrible. <laughs> no, when he's been an excellent keeper for the whole year. So yeah, it's, but it's the only thing it's bad for is like this episode. Like I want something, I want something to show that's good. But maybe that's just the fact of being in Europe next season. Because we've put in the hard yards. We've put the hard yards during the season, which you for sure saw. <laughs> Remember when we beat Man City when it was important? <laughs> when it was actually, yeah, really up for grabs? Yeah, all right. Tight game. Like, the chance they got, we should have really done better with. And, yeah, we're mad they got... Like, that front four is ridiculous, though. That front four, what are you going <laughs> to... Like, we should be losing. Something's wrong with Liverpool if they don't beat us here. <gasps> that's... that's Wow. If you think their attack in real life is good. Add Dybala into the mix. Now Salah running through the middle. Ah, read by Mankio. But he... Straight to Van Dyke. Robertson. Mane. So I guess we can't hide behind it. The really good teams have caused us trouble. That's, like, that's facts. For sure. And it's another goal like that, man. Salah... But see, it's if I was conceding these goals against a worse team, I'd be saying more because it's just not a shock for, uh, as we just said, on their attack. So it doesn't breed the most exciting moments. Normally, yeah, normally when you're playing a big team, when you're playing a big team, it would be exciting. But I guess it's different situations. It's not really a big team versus a big team, though. It's us versus a big team that's much better than us and that's destroying us. That's to be expected. It's just 
We have to get through this. Uh, we have to get th through this unexciting time. <laughs> it's the final final episode of the season. But so, yeah, we're just getting through. But I, I still want to see signs. I still would like to see something, boys, to give me some hope. I think that always can still be there instead of us getting completely destroyed. Completely destroyed. Oh, okay. Let's take a look. No, it's too slow. Hurry up. Four. Did they get an extra goal in that period? It felt like <laughs> they've got four, have they? Wow, okay. They've just been flying in. And this one is at home for us. Hmm. Do we take much at all from this? I don't think so. As I said, the boys have worked hard all season. Come on, get it. Adam, see, we're tired. <laughs> We're tired. Press. Nah, don't even worry about that. Still show something though, boys. Please. That's what I'm looking for. They're taking Salah off. They know the job is done. They know. And they got... Was that Dembele to come on? You don't need to get mad. <laughs> when they got the powers of Dembele to come on. So pretty chill right now. Nelson, let's bring on Ruben Vargas, Griffo. Hmm. We almost don't have an option for him. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. He might need to play the game out. Um, Adam off. Maybe put Sam Greenwood there. Yeah, we, we don't really have a left mid. Raphael. He's awkward there. I'd prefer not to. Play out the game. No doubt, it, no, no doubt it's disappointing, but it looks worse. We shouldn't have two games against Liverpool in a row. It, this should have been a result we had earlier in the season, and we would have had a different game at this point. But anyway, like there's no no stress at all. And if anything, it could be Brennan again. Why, why is he running wide? Nah, you're never going to score. Never going to score like that. But yeah, we've... It's more about, in this episode, celebrating the season. Because uh, we're not providing a lot against a much stronger side, unfortunately. Apologies if there's nothing too exciting about it. it it's what happens when you overachieve and you put yourself in this position. <laughs> uh, come on. But exceptionally happy we made Europa League. Exceptionally happy. So that's why I said that, yeah, these, this against Liverpool doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't really impact too much. Maybe the players mentally know that as well. We can't get Champions League, so let's not, yeah, bust, let's not bust our boiler. Let's see if we can, like, get a goal. Like, just, you can score a goal if you want. Give me something to, you know, like, get excited about. Yes, a penalty. Can we get a penalty? This might be that something. Of course, it has to be it has to be VAR. If that wasn't clear enough, it's just the process you have to go through uh, before it's awarded. Uh, that's clearly a penalty, though. I'd be shocked if it wasn't penalty award. What did I say? Oh, I wanted to. Yes, lucky it's in the dugout. I wanted to give it to Mister. Mr. Johnny Brennan. Hopefully that happened. I just want to make sure. Make sh yeah, Johnny. Yeah, okay. He's taking it. Good. Good, good. And he's a good ta He's actually a good taker as well. No, I changed him. FM fix that, you stupid game. You, you ruined our story. Fucking hell, man. Like, did you see I actually changed that? Seriously, get lost. That's what, yeah, and he missed it as well. Well done. How simple is it? Click a button. I'm more mad about that than losing. I want a young striker to score a goal. I know you're probably busy. I don't even know what to say. You're probably like, why are you mad about that more than the result? Because it was a chance for him to get another goal to his name. I, especially when it's something so simple, when you click a button, 
that should have happened. And then you, then you know when I clicked on it for a second time to make sure, it said he will take the penalty. And then he will not. <laughs> no, well, yeah, then he didn't take the penalty. Mate, your codes must be all types of messed up not to execute that then, man. <laughs> that's the thing that's made me so mad. You're the most mad. And you see Man City trounce United. I mean, that's like a real dominating performance. See what City do against United. Uh, at home, and they're second. And when they're up for a title race, yeah, man. Uh, Liverpool get crowned champions. Deservedly so. They've had a good season. So, yeah, keep in mind, that's who we're coming up against as well. Oh, look at this. Premier League, this Ruben Vargas was on top of that. Okay, that's something... I don't. Sometimes I don't look into completely all the stats and, oh, guys, look at this. We've got these things in already. I thought this might be a, after we played the games. Um, yeah, the last game of the season. But yeah, go, you can take a look at a financial services company, five-year deal worth $3.8 million, Not too bad at all. So yeah, just take a look at that. Klozek, yeah, no surprise. He's number one. New scouting budgets. But what's that? Not even $20 million. We're Europe bound. I hope that's going to change. That's... <laughs> Guys, imagine if Champions League... Imagine we need a boost. Uh, that's not enough to get quality in. I hope that's revisited. Guys, will it be? When they know we'll be in Europe? I mean, look it up. That's like half of it. More than that. Like, it's 18 when you got 43 in overall. Oh, I hope we can have a successful, like, talk with the board to ask for some more money. Have to. With that season we had, improvement on money, let me know how likely you think that's going to be, guys. Oh, FM is teasing me a little. Not teasing or more frustrating me, uh, to be honest. Okay. I'm happy we're going to finish things off like this. Vincenzo Griffo. Oh, I guess that little thing popped up about Vargas. Like, his distance covered or something like that. I want to... Yeah, I want to see him, like, can we see, like, some stats or, yeah, what we can pick from that? Uh, what we can gauge from distance covered? What stat do we look uh, look at? Distance, distance, yeah, distance covered, it's there. Distance for 90 minutes, 14 kilometers, yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm just, I'm su maybe a little surprised out of that. It's work rate 14. He's, you know, he, he's got some decent attributes. Nothing insane, that's it. Nelson, see, I'd say, do we have a like a younger player to play it right? Not really. I'm not going to worry about getting anyone from the youth site, like unless they're fit. <laughs> like you're like, oh, I might as well. It's like the final game of the season, but I'm not going to get the whole selection out. Yeah, David Powell, he's 18, but is he fit? Is he? He's unavailable loan status. Yeah, that's good. What's it? What's his fitness like? Yeah, condition. I guess it's, I'm still prone looking for numbers. Oh, uh, gosh. Those are the days. Yeah, let's give him a go. If you're going to think about it in that way, take Nelson out. No, oh, he's international. Why? England under 20. See, that's where he's going to be getting his games, guys. If that's what you say, give him some game time. Oh, he's going to be getting it. Uh, one way or another, so don't worry about that. We've got a few called up, so let, as I said, let's not rush ourselves. Let's not worry about that kind of stuff. Maybe Vranks to get a go ahead of Ilsanko. He's, not, he's one that won't be here next season. Yeah, Adam. Adam will start. Well, it was only about Sam Greenwood, but now we'll leave it, and we'll get into the game. This is going to be a good idea to get a gauge of our season, not those two games against Liverpool, like the best team in the league was always going to be a bit of a tricky one and we you want to you want to see us just oh the Arteta as a manager he's going to he's going to relegate them well there you go yeah we we do want yeah let's go outstretch arms now, which one can we say yeah pump fits pump fists let's give the fans something to go home smiling about the end of the season wow okay I thought that one would be a morale booster or give him something to get hyped up about. Not hyped up, but, you know, be good mentally getting into the game. So let's see. Let's see how we go. Mitchell, he's got a knock already. And he gives it to Chair. 
Kenny, oof, I know. He was good last year. Not sure how good, in F how good he is in FM21. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out today, maybe. Come on, you got to get to this. Yep, well done, Adam. He fought off the tackle, but it goes out. Okay. Johnny Brennan, mate. It's your time. Dalamura. He should have scored that. Good chance. Tight game. Tight game early on. If anything, QPR's had more possession. Hmm. I think, man, we've had a long season. We've had, yeah, we've had a real long one, boys. Yeah, very, this is playing a ball-winning midfield. That's probably not, yeah, put in Mazala. And then Gould's advanced playmaker support. Yeah, I wondered about that. We didn't change the role of him when we brought him in. So the game where we could have seen a bit more excitement, there hasn't been much at all. So we're going to say I'm not happy with the performance. Come on, guys. I don't want this episode to be too, like, oh, too disappointing for you guys. I don't think it can be disappointing, back to that point with the Europa League we've qualified for. But actually, in terms of the games, you want to see a victory. Like, you always want to see that. But at the same time, we've seen a lot this season. Don't forget them. <laughs> Those victories definitely happened. Or we wouldn't be in the position we are in, right? They've definitely been there. Now, and even if we somehow lose here. Oh, how do you miss a tackle? How, 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 how? That hits the woodwork. And surely that is the chance for that height. Wow. That's all I can say is, wow, man. We can try going a little more. We'll go that style. Maybe through the middle we'll try. Try something. And for the subs... Nah, I'd rather have, rather have the guys there that... Apart from Nelson, uh, that are going to be there next season. Unless we get surprise offers. You never know. Mankilo, come on! Get a winner! Just for... They're a team about to get relegated. Sure, we got what we needed. We got what we wanted, but it doesn't mean we just have to completely deflate. Come on, Nelson. Come on. Come on. Let's see a goal. Let's see a win on the final day for the fans to celebrate our season. Oh, my gosh. See, that's a little frustrating. A little frustrating. Mankilo. Come on. We've got it in us. Adam. Adam. No. That was neither a shot or a pass. I thought he was actually going for a pass across goal. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I, don't, oh, it's, I feel like we need this win in a way. <laughs> Even though we don't. Adam off. Let's bring on Sam Greenwoods. Yeah, it's kind of mad. I feel like we need the win. Even though we don't need it. Exactly. Uh, Vincenzo Griffo for Reese Nelson. He's going. He's going. We, who knows? I don't think we'll get him again. Surely Arsenal want to keep him around. Demand more? It would, yeah. It's a little disappointing if we don't get a winning goal. Just for you guys wanting to see more from us. Ah, oh, come on, FM. A late winner then, please. That would be that would be nice. Or, or have we completely signed out? Have we signed out for the season? Because we yeah we can't we couldn't have really changed our position. Realistically, come on, come on. Nah, it keeps going back to them. Ah, it's, it's a, yeah, it is a little. It's not the same hype to end the season on, and yeah, the chance is going to be for them. It's disappointing now. It registers. We won't get a goal. It's for them or nothing. It's for them or nothing. At least defend it. Oh, Brennan, maybe. No. Yeah, that was the chat. It is a little disappointing. But in the day, it's just a it's few results. Few results. We, we've got what we needed to already. Unless. Unless. No, that wasn't the highlight. It was already done and dusted. That's the only thing. The lack of hype on the final day with a win, to get a win. Yeah, that's all right. It can't always be that way. 
It all can't always be that hype and clinical performances. But you can tell I'm a little deflated by, by the performance, no doubt. This one we were, yeah, we were trying to get a win. Uh, that is that is for sure. So look at that. Magically, we're still in a position. So maybe that's uh, yeah what the lads just had mentally. You don't need a yeah. They knew they didn't have to go too hard, and maybe that's what we saw. And we couldn't get a winner on the final day. So as I said, it's a little deflating. But then we we quickly move on from this. We 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 focus next season and and all the money I don't have to spend. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I'm not gonna go click on individual players because then when you go back, you have to go th through clicking. Even though this is the first page, uh, we yeah we we know kind of we've been through it for the whole season really. Lozek, we know what he's done. We know Benji's been great in goals. He had a great season when it was important, guys. When it was, look, he's got that signing of the season. Benji was the signing of the season. I told you he'd be something good with his experience. Yeah. So we did well with our transfers. Those guys stood out. Nelson back again. 10 goals in the league, Premier League. Really, really well done. And it's a season to remember. We get Europa League, guys. That's incredible. We forget these recent games. We're in Europa League next season. Massive. Massive stuff. And as I said, shown why we're probably not the quality of Champions League. Yeah, A plus C, like the board's like mental state, mental state for us or for me as the manager is amazing. So some notable results there. See, yeah, this is what we kind of need to remember. Just dominating Norwich, killing Everton. There were those moments. There were those moments at 5-0. Let's re just relive that a little bit where... Yeah, I, I want something in this episode. Let's relive the goals of this, a 5-0. One of the games, one of the many games that, you know, helped us along our way to perform to this level and get this result and this European qualification, Nelson. Yeah, there we go. That was a really nice, a really nice finish. Let's see how we build up from the back. Griffo with the direct ball. See, we didn't have that same intensity with the speed. And we, yeah, they've still got that. They need a pre-season to recover from doing that all season. And Lozette taking the penalties, had an amazing season. And we didn't see this in this last few games. Our boys were just too tired. We didn't see any runs like this. Not it, not just because we played against Liverpool in two of them. But even the last game, our boys were just tired. You did not see runs like this. Like, and that quick football. <sighs> right. Guys, I think that's just evidence that our lads, they were just, they were stuff from, yeah, put in the work. So this is what I mean when you check out things, you have to go click more. But I, I wanted some, yeah, I wanted some goals to remember there. And funnily enough, Magic got the goal of the season from limited game time. Uh, that's interesting. So all plus competition prize money. Last season was more, oh, because it went further in the FA Cup. So that's something that's understandable. So that extra, what, like two million or something, uh, we still got back with the broadcast revenue, yeah. Just just by a little bit, right, lads? <laughs> yeah, by a lot. Sponsorship was a bit was more as well. So yeah, we the money, the money was really, really neat. Adam Clinical, this eleven, very, very strong. That center back that was partnering Armini was always gonna be up in the air. But Ilsenka. Yeah, he had some good games, and of course, he'll be gone. <laughs> it's great, but yes, Benji Segrist, like 7.14, great rating. Second, well, third highest in the team behind Armini, then Hlozic. Yeah, very strong. Uh, very strong there. The awards, fans player of the season goes to Adam. Young player of the season goes to Adam. I think there's, <laughs> I think there's something in the room going here. It sounds like on the repeat. It's Adam. It's, a it's all Adam. And signing of the season, though, was Benji. Benji was the signing of the season. Uh, there we go. Ilsanka was worst discipline. Doesn't mean too much now. Um, so, 2021. So, this is my history. I'm guessing. 2021, 22, the Skybet Championship Manager. I remember pointing out something in that where... Yeah, don't worry. That's some pretty good manager awards. I was going to say, yeah, why does that still show for this season? I, I don't know. Uh, I thought they're telling us this season's awards. But anyway, that's excellent stuff to have on your record. That is 
that is for sure. So let's just burn, Burnley yeah, fall into the championship. Let's just take a look at the league table, guys. Uh, see who's not going to be with us. Can we click on it from there or not? You have to click view competition. There you go. Bournemouth gone, QPR gone, and yeah, Burnley. Let's take a look at the championship. How did the championship go? See what teams are actually going to be joining us. you got Stoke, Sheffield United, one of those will be. But if we go to the league table, it's Brighton and Crystal Palace. It's like the West Ham have got a relegation as well there. There's a few names there. But yeah, Brighton, Crystal Palace making their way back into the Premier League. So a couple of familiar familiar clubs. There's 22. There's all of this. See, we're We've been given 33 million. We have to get more transfer budget now, guys. That has to be revisited. We've got 75. Guys, do we ask for it or sometime is the board going to come to us, give us some more money in the transfer, or are we going to have to ask for it? Look at this. Gate receipts record. Amazing. Expectations meeting. This is something we're going to have to... We're just going to accept the vision. Avoid relegation. Like, did they watch this season? Wait. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> thought Europa League. Yeah, reach group stage. We've done that. So next season's expectations are going to be done so easily. Avoid relegation when we qualified for Europe. Okay. Uh, Sunland training camp. Might as well finish off with this. USA. Australia's not there. So there's the options are China, Singapore, Hong Kong, Holland, Scotland, Austria, Germany. Yeah, let's go to USA. Hopefully come back in one piece. But... <laughs> with everyone and there we go uh Hozek, english premier division top he, he scored the most goals in the division don't sleep on adam Hozek, please i know you guys wouldn't yeah it's been a good year thanks boss young player of the year with 21 goals but 12 assists as well that's what 33 goals uh he played a part in in 37 appearances played a lot of the games for us as well and i got manager i got manager of the year that says a lot. It doesn't go straight to, you know, not like, let's compare. Poof. Great, great competition. Great competition. Or, yeah, great names I'm up with there. But generally, it does go to the manager that, you know, lifts the Premier League trophy. So when you get it from fifth, that says a lot. I think if you do get that as a newly promoted team. Yeah, so this is much better because I know the games weren't too exciting in this episode, but now we just, yeah, Adam, we only got one, we only got Adam, you think any, guys, do you think anyone else could have pushed for a selection or, yeah, probably the other top two teams, United and Liverpool are just too strong. Uh, so I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, that's all good, but we've got much more in the balance. Increase next season's... Is that this season or next season? Like the, the, the following season after? Uh, you might as well. There's no harm in clicking these things. You would think. Ah, oh, discuss the plans for next season. We have to do that. Uh, Mid table finish. Avoid relegation. Where's that? Avoid relegation. Because that's what the board wants. Oh, that's what the board wants. You're not going to get very... Oh my god, are you dumb, game? We just finished fifth. You're not going to get very far asking the squad to compete on a level we're not remotely close to. So that's the second thing. Football manager, are you, like... Oh. What? I'm not going to get to... Adam is offended. I still don't think you're setting us achievable target. We came fifth this season. I'm not mad at Adam. He's an amazing player. Football manager. Sports interactive. Like, how do you, like, compute this? Like, how do you compute this? How is your X equals Y789? I don't know coding at all. But, like, how does this add up? Clearly. Fuck, oh, man. Uh, that's exactly... This. No. Oh, where are we? Aiming to reach Europa... Wait. 
I'll also be aiming to reach the Europa League competition proper. No. Knockout stages, but the compete. Let's just give a good account of ourselves. <sighs> Did I save it? I'll see you all when you get back. How can you say this? That sounds good to me. Then you go from positive to neutral. And that's how it ends. Should end on positive. Eh, it ends on neutral. So morale has dropped, even though we had a boosting one. That shouldn't have happened, though. We finished fifth and they're mad saying, I hope we avoid relegation. Yeah, football manager, great way to reduce my morale. My morale? My What's the lowest? Who's got the lowest? Oh, I'm on Bailey Wright. No, that's lacking sharpness. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's going to... Like, that'll be turned around. Oh, but see, isn't that for next season? It says old budget, 24.8. Like, like, that's... Yeah, that's what I thought when... I think they're seeing this is this season's budget and next season was what we're asking for. We need more than that. So can I not ask for more money? We can't... Oh, I can't improve the team that much with 18 mil. Maybe one really good signing or two okay signings. It depends who's listed. Depend, maybe there's some free transfers. Oh, what a way to end it with all the positives. There was a couple of annoyances in this episode. Um, the penalty one is, yeah, whatever, it's just a penalty. But that one is a little bit more frustrating with the players. And maybe the money that we've been given. When we've 18 million, we've got 75 in the balance. Surely that we're going to have to come up, at, like we'll get a message saying, okay, you, you're going to get more in the budget. Surely. What do, you, what do you guys think anyway? What do you guys think? And it's not like we have a huge chunk of value. We don't want to sell Armini, don't want to sell Hlozek. Griffo, 21 million in him. Do we consider, if they don't give us extra money, do we can just sit, consider value of players? Griffo, who's 30 years old, try and sell him, get 20 million, bag 20 million for him. What do you think? Because he was okay this season, but he wasn't outstanding. Like, for someone who paid 15.5 million, get a little profit. He had a solid season, make some profit on him as well. And then Greenwood, everyone else, Ruben Vargas, yeah, he works hard. I don't think there's a lot of other players I desperately really want to get rid of that's, you know, worth something. So, yeah, let us know what you guys think of this. It was a pretty interesting episode <laughs> in the end. There was a lot of things to take in. But, yeah, we're in Europe next season. It's up and up in the road to glory, no doubt. Results a bit disappointing in the final episode, but there was a lot more positives. Maybe not our transfer budget, but our actual financial shit you... Well, it's not one of those. It could have been. Our, our, our transfer budget looks like a situation. But the financial situation looks amazing. Guys, when we went from this amount, look at that. 185k. <laughs> now 75 million. We've got to be happy in that way. So I'll leave it here. Hopefully you guys are excited for the next season. Let me know where we need to improve the team, where maybe we need to sell... And yeah, let, let us know. Let us know we should put the money and hopefully we do actually get some extra. I think we, we deserve that and how our balance is sitting. But I'll leave it there for now and see you guys next time.